Alright guys, just got back from Ace. Bought a total of $7 worth of hardware, which brings the total cost of this project all the way up to $7. So I'm going to get it all assembled, and I'll show you what all I've got here. Alright, so here's what I did today. The motor bracket has been secured with some size A32 bolts, and that is just screwed directly into the base plate. And then on the front of the motor, I used some 1032 screws that go into the motor mounting holes on the face. So now the motor is really secure, not going anywhere. Okay, for the chuck, I upgraded the plastic plug to a brass plug for uh, more strength. And I got new hardware, so now my workpiece can be put further back into the chuck because there's now a bolt head instead of a stop nut. So this allows for more depth. And I've got the same rubber washer set up. There's also one on the inside that you can't see that keeps it from spinning. And um, then there is a coupler nut or a coupling nut because I used a bolt now. And I couldn't just uh, run the threaded rod all the way through it. So a coupling nut, that also allows me to take off the chuck in case I need to disassemble something. So that's the new chuck. The rest of it's the same. Now over here is my, I guess, uh, drive thing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I went back through the garbage and pulled out the old... Uh, vacuum parts and I took both brushes and got the gears or the teeth off both of them because they fit the belt perfectly unlike the other parts I had so I cut them off and I rounded them out on the sides and I drilled the center hole out and tapped it to 5 16 18 thread so now it threads right on to the uh, shaft and each side is held together by a washer and a rubber washer to keep them from um, spinning under the force and the reason I threaded them on the inside is because uh, in the event that they do spin they will just be pushed further up harder up against the washers on the sides so hopefully that'll keep them from moving anywhere and over here is um, some lathes have a hand wheel on the side for cutting threads and stuff like that. So this is just a plastic wheel that has a rubber uh, lining on the outside, a rubber like, sort of like a rubber band. So I attached that the same way the chuck used to be attached, which is with this uh, plastic plug. Rubber washers on both sides and a little acorn nut because I thought it looked nice. So that is the new uh, shaft. One thing I forgot to mention, um, I have these two different sized gears for running the lathe at different speeds. And you're probably thinking, well, you're, when you switch the gear, the belt is gonna lose tension. So what I'm gonna do is I got these uh, bolts and wing nuts that I'm gonna attach the motor base plate to the uh, wooden panel that will be the whole lathe base. I'm going to attach it with these and there will be uh, two holes in the base that I can use to swap uh, the motor at different lengths away from the shaft to keep the belt at the proper tension when running at both speeds. So the wing nuts are there just for uh, ease of changing the position but uh, I'll cover that more in the next video. So that's it. And all that's left to do is create the bearing stands, which I'm gonna make out of wood. And I found these uh, pipe mounting plates that fit the bearing perfectly. And I'm gonna use these to screw the bearing into the bearing stand, which is gonna be that wood. And then all I need to do is cut this 
a threaded rod to the appropriate length and attach the chuck and I will have something that works finally. So after I do some of that I'll make another video but for now this is all I got. So thanks for watching and watch the next video to see what else I do. It should be pretty cool. Um, so yeah that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.